Alright boys, I'm back. Um, it's been a while. Uh, I haven't been um, on YouTube for a long time because I've been working uh, long hours and just been busy with life. Um, but, you know, ice fishing's back. Um, I'm going to be hitting the ice probably in about a month and a half. I picked up some new gear I want to show you guys. Uh, the, uh, I guess, 2014, 2015 uh, season. So this is the new gear I got, um, some of the stuff you've seen, and I'll just show everything. So yesterday I picked up a new um, ice fishing unit, uh, I got the Lowrance, it uh, comes in the porter pack here. Um, this was pretty costly for me, um, It's I, I believe it's new this year, um, it's the Elite 4 HDI. Um, this is the more expensive one. Uh, it's um, it has all the uh, GPS and all that good stuff, and um, has the waypoints and everything. Um, you can move this up to here, so you can set it up higher um, as a normal ice fishing transducer. Um, two storage uh, boxes there, and. Uh, the reason why I went with that instead of a Vexilar uh, flasher is because this one actually has a flasher built in. You can do like uh, like different splits. I'll turn it on for you guys to show you, but um, you can uh, change it all, and you can actually change out the transducer, and uh, you can use this unit in the uh, in the uh, summertime. So it's all around your unit, which I like. Um, it was 419 with taxes and all that good stuff. It came to like 490, almost 500 bucks. But it's my Christmas present to myself. You know, Christmas is around the corner, so uh, this is what I wanted to get myself. Um, I have an old one, uh, but I need to update it. I need all that GPS and good stuff, right? So uh, just starting up here. Uh, of course, we're not in the lake, so it's going to be blank. But uh, I'll show you the type of things it has. Um, it has down scan, um, it has the map, you know, these are all split screens, I'll show you so you can do it in your map, you can also move that up top, you can move it all around, play with it, you can do just your normal, uh, GPS with, uh, just the bottom scan, or you can just do down scan, uh, of course you can do everything at compass, just the map itself, you know, different grids. Um, you can just change it all up. Um, if you want to do the flasher, um, go to. I'm still new to this, guys. Uh, I only got it just yesterday. So, waypoints up there, right at the top there. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, what was it? Uh, no. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I'm in the wrong thing. See, this takes getting used to. Um, so you gotta like downscan and overlay and stuff. Um, so I still gotta get used to it. But, um, this is it. It has a flasher on it, so you can do split screen. Um, see there's a flasher right there and then it has the bottom scan on the bottom so uh, I like this unit a lot I've, I obviously haven't taken it out yet but I like the features and everything that comes along with it um, I think it would be handy for me and what I need um, just the flasher itself I don't think that would be pretty use it wouldn't be useful for me because I I needed an all around good unit for all year round and this is what came out so what else I got is a, um, you guys saw my ice hut last year I got. Well this year I got a, um, a shuttle to put all my stuff in because I got a uh, Mr. Buddy heater and a propane tank and all that good stuff for heat uh, inside my shelter. And maybe I'll put it outside if I feel like I need a little heat when I'm check my tip up or whatever. Right? So I got this um, shuttle thing, um, regularly 200 bucks. Oh, 199 plus taxes 
they were clearing them out. I got it for 50 bucks. I thought, you know, why not? Uh, I have a, a whole bunch of stuff like the finder I just got. And, you know, it comes in handy so you're not, all your stuff's not bunched up um, in the end. So, like, a spot, a little spot for, like, pliers, you know, maybe a couple of tackle trays, miscellaneous stuff, right? So, uh, it has these little clip things. Um, cup holders, you know, you never know. Um, bait bucket hole, where I'm going to put my propane tank probably in there. Um, and then where my finder is, I can actually, actually this is the spot where to put it if you want to just see so you don't put it in the snow or on the ice. So move that down. So this spot's going to where my buddy's going to go, you know, extra stuff, um, you know, clothes and all that dry spot. I can put all that good stuff and food and my smelt and all that good stuff. And then over here, you got your rod locker. You know, you put your rods. I'm going to put some tip-ups in there. Just the usual stuff that I need that I bring along every time. Because I, mo I mostly uh, mostly fish for pike. Um, some walleye sometimes, but mostly pike. I'm going for like those four or five footers. Uh, on the quick strike rigs and you know jigging and all that good stuff like everyone does so it's a normal tow toboggan um, my dad goes with me so he can tow one I'll tow, tow one but if he can't make it then I'll just hitch it on the back of my shelter here and I'll make it like a train so you guys saw this last year my raffle is not set up I literally just took this out today air it out Get it all ready, prep it, pack it all, like repack. I took some stuff out. Um, you know, the side table, it's a one man flip over. It's pretty solid. I love it. Um, but uh, I also got some new fishing pants, but those are for Christmas, so I can't really show because, you know, they're put away. Um, so that's pretty much my setup for this year. Um, I'll catch you guys on the ice. I'm definitely going to get some ice footage for you guys. And um, if you have any questions or concerns or prices or anything, hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, you know, you know, we're all friends here, fishing nuts, right? So um, catch you guys in a few, um, most likely on the ice. And uh, can't wait to uh, see what this uh, winter brings for me. And you know, I'm saving for college and that kind of thing. So for um, next September, or so. Um, I'm just gonna kill it this uh, year. I'm going out every weekend, and uh, I was I oh and uh, can't wait to see what you guys bring or uh, show me um, your footage on ice fishing. If you guys ice fish, if you don't ice fish, and you have ice that you can actually ice fish on, trust me. I'm I'm thinking like ice fishing is got to be like top notch, like maybe overpassing open water fishing. I just love it. It's so much fun. Um, so if you do ice fish, can't wait to see your footage. And if you don't ice fish, but you can ice fish, give it a try, guys. You'll love it. It's just a blast. Um, it's it's really relaxing out there, and it's just a way to um, keep on fishing all year round. So I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.